Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. Amazon LightSail have released Windows instances. Amazon Elasticsearch service now supports VPCs. Cost allocation tags are now available for SQS. You can now book your reInvent sessions. And I set the Certified Solutions Architect Associate Beta exam this Monday, and I'll tell you my thoughts. I'm Ryan Krinenberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. So Amazon LightSail have now released Windows instances, and for those of you that don't remember, LightSail was launched at reInvent 2016, and it allows you to manage virtual private servers in the cloud. And they're completely pre-configured, so they come with SSD storage, DNS management, and a static IP address. And you don't have to worry about things like VPCs, security groups, network ACLs, etc. And now Windows instances are now supported, and you can either get a 2012 R2 instance, or a 2016 instance, or a 2000 and 16 instance with SQL Server Express pre-installed. And it comes in five sizes, ranging from 512 megabytes to eight gigs of RAM, and between one to two vCPUs. So Windows servers are now available on LightSail. Make sure you go check it out. So Amazon Elasticsearch now supports VPC integration. And for those of you that don't know, Elasticsearch is simply a popular open source search and analytics engine. And people use it to analyze logs, for real-time application monitoring, click-stream analytics, and basically to search for simple text. Um, previously, you had to connect Elasticsearch service via an internet gateway and a NAT instance. But now with VPC support, traffic between Elasticsearch service and the VPC stays entirely within the AWS network. So cost allocation tags for SQS is now supported, and you've long had the ability to tag AWS resources to see cost breakdowns on a per tag basis. However, not all AWS resources have always supported this, and AWS have steadily been adding tag support to services such as Lambda, DynamoDB, EBS, etc. And this week, SQS has been added to the list. So you can now add tags to individual SQS queues, and this helps you keep track of which department or who in the organization is using what queue and what it's costing your business. So you can now book your sessions at reInvent. However, there have been a few issues with the site and a thread on Reddit exploded on Thursday night with people complaining that they were getting the error, you cannot schedule this session. Now a user called FaceTumblr earned some gold and jumped to the rescue by pointing out that if you change your password and log out and then back in again, you could get past it. So if you are having issues, that's all you need to do. Now do remember that sessions fill up quickly. So if you haven't already booked your session, you should do it immediately after watching this video. And me and the A Cloud your instructors will be there. We're probably going to throw a party, so stay tuned and we'll let you know the time and date. So you might remember last week I mentioned that there was a new Solutions Architect Associate exam that was in beta. And I actually went and sat at this Monday and it was very serendipitous because my normal Solutions Architect Associate um, certification had expired. So I set the recertification on Tuesday. So essentially I sat both exams within 24 hours of each other. Now I know you must have a ton of questions as to which, you know, what's the difference between the two exams. We actually did a Facebook Live video so you can check it out on the link below where I answer a whole bunch of student questions. So that is it for AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week.